So I'm reviewing a Bowser RS-3 diesel. I know it's against my um, nature to, re to review a diesel, but I unfortunately bought two diesels recently. So I don't know what's happening to me. I will be, I'm gonna review this like I did my joke box car video, if you saw that on a 100 point system, taking five points only. Uh, there's a guy who actually does that I don't remember his name, so I will put it in the description. So yeah, let's start the review. So the box is fine, it looks nice, but the problem I have at least with it is you screw the engine into this plastic thing that goes in the box. So you look at the bottom of it, see there's a screw hole there and a screw hole there, and it just screws into this. And that seems, that one, it's a pain, Two, that just seems like a bad idea and a great way to damage your diesels as you like hold it upside down with the fragile details and side things. Like it, it's just not a good idea. Now, a lot of people don't have to move the train around a lot and that's fine, but some people do. And if you are, this box is probably gonna be annoying if you you know go to like a club or you have a friend's layout that you go to often, that's a pain. So we're taking five points. I don't really have any complaints about the details. I haven't noticed anything that looks noticeably off. I haven't really seen anything. And these things even open. So it can have a, uh, they, well they do. That one doesn't want to. Magic. Majestic, it works, magical. I don't give five points. I only take away five points. Now, I don't really like the interior. It seems not very good. I'm not sure you can see it very well. The other side looks a bit better from the cab-wise, but in here, you know, you see the screw. Especially from this side, it really doesn't look that great. And you can you can see back there the wires. So you can see through the cab, there's nothing to stop it. I'm not going to take five points for this because it was, I think, $200. And I would say, if you think about it, 120 for a decoder and sound, $80 for an engine. That's not bad. I would say this is worth $80 with no decoder. Okay, so now we're onto the sounds and it has full lock sound five. So you get everything, you get all 31 functions. I won't play them all, but I will play some of them. Now you can notice, I'm not sure if you know this, but it, when you blow the horn, it kind of, I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. It kind of vibrates the shell and thus makes it sound worse. So I'm going to go ahead and take five points. Also, the bell is really quiet. So when you're running it, and the idle sound is quite loud compared to everything else. So it sounds pretty nice. Um, I would say the idle sounds quite loud. Um, the marker boards are not lit if you're wondering. They could be, but you know, tomato, tomato. Um, it has plenty of functions to mess with. A couple of them, it says it's not used. I've also noticed the beacon or auxiliary too. That doesn't do anything. Um, it does also runs the wrong way. So 
it says right there, little f forward, it that runs backwards. So if you look at here, it's currently in the going forward. And if you can remember, <laughs> for, it went uh, that way. So it's just backwards. You can change that. The, um, that's about it. Oh, with the detail thing is, you know, look at this. It broke. Just saying, it broke because I was taking it out of the box. Another complaint. The box made me break this because I didn't know how to hold it right. Thus justifies me taking five points for the box. So my friend said I don't have the most accurate way of testing how much a train can pull because apparently launching a K4 up a hill with a couple passenger cars isn't accurate. So here his, is his accurate testing. I have four pounds and five ounces in there. Is this what you wanted? I am gonna go ahead and take five points for pulling and I'll show you now. Okay, so here it's going up, I think about a 4% grade with 10 cars, if you count the caboose, at 55 speed steps. And you can see at car, um, uh, that looks like car four, it can't pull it up the hill. Now I think this is 4%, but there's a chance it's three. I don't remember. So that's a slight dilemma that it can't pull up 10 cars up this hill, which means it's either a local train where you got three, more like under six cars that can do that generally if you hit it with some speed. So, you know, you see my problem here. Now this is a decent sized train for this, but still this would be a nice train to pull without a helper engine or a whole extra engine. And if you just, So it is 10 cars if you wanted to see all in its glory. I got a new caboose. So that's all I have to say. If you're wondering, it got an 85 out of 100, which I would say is pretty decent. That's like a B, I would assume. I don't really, the only real complaint I have is if I want to pull a nice 10 train, 10 car train up a, up through the layout, we have pretty steep hills, so you might not have the same problem. You know, I'll, I'll have to double head it or help it or pull less cars so that's about it i it's a good engine for i think you can get them on ebay for 175 and i would say for 175 it's worth it 200 worth it 225 questionable 250 i know there's a better deal out there that's my rating for its prices that you could find it at and that's all i have to say i'll be making a review on those soon